Hello guys. Today I'll be showing you guys Ghost Kindred on just basically um, how to make it OP and how to make it look OP. Um, Kindred actually is pretty strong right now. It has or it, it is actually the highest win rate jungler in low analytics or top two at least in higher elo. And I'll just show you guys like how to make it work because if you are able to understand the gameplay and execute it properly, you can get a lot of kills. Okay. So I'll start with okay. For people that don't know what goes exactly, I'm sure all of you guys know, but it gives you for 15 seconds 24% movement speed, it increases per level, and it is really strong if laners are overextended. So if laners, let's say here, you can start ghosting from here and they will not survive. But yeah. Anyway, so um of course if you want to get a lot of kills, it all starts with like knowing oh hello. It, it all starts with um, basically knowing what your ring condition is, okay? Like, there's few steps that you need to, like, think about, which is number one, what's your ring condition? I would say mid slash bot. FC6, I want to ult on their bot lane and kill them. And I just want to make sure my top lane's fine, ideally, which should be okay. And gang execution is super important as well. Like, on this champion, you need to understand that farming is extremely important. You only go for ganks if you think you can kill them. If you can't kill them, it is really bad. Because Kindred is, if I recall right, one of the best scaling AD junglers. And it has decent early game as well. So keep it in mind, okay? You only go for free kills. So of course, the really important thing as well is because if you're farming early game, you should just look to track where the enemy jungler might be. So currently, okay, so you see the ball in, right? I want to, you see, I, I paid attention to minimap. You saw Milio? Milio walked like a little bit uh, here. Like, he walked in the bush. I, one thing, I paid a lot of attention to minimap, right? So, here, I see that the bottom wave is like really fucking fat. So I actually can't gank this. Like, why? My laners won't get level 2. And I know as well that um, my laners have to catch the wave. But maybe after they catch the wave, I can look for the gank, okay? Because look, at this point, they like have crossed the line, which is like, they're very deep. So even if there's like a ward behind there, if I wait till... So if you look with the ghost, you can like run people down like this. But I do have to run away. Ooh, if I got hit by that, would it be scary? I think my... my boy is trolling a bit. Yeah, fashion him. Okay, okay. I did expect to be dodging that, but I didn't. I mean, my TF is sadly really low Q. He should just push mid wave and I zone him myself. But anyway, it's okay. Um, I am just gonna look to. Oh, this is not allowed. Yeah, at least I got the mark. But anyway, despite that in the early game, I'm still gonna win the game and I'll just show you how to do it. So, I do want to get the top mark. Before I go for top mark, I am thinking, okay, the lane priority. Top lane, no. Mid lane, no. So, this is crap mine. No. So, I'm just gonna full clear top to bot. So, here comes the important thing where even if you're behind, it actually doesn't matter because your champ is really OP. Um, you just have to make sure you do proper jungle tracking and make sure that you are trading in case you're behind, okay? Make sure you don't go for fights that will just lose you the game. And as well, you saw like how I fucked up the SO of Ghost, like you can use Ghost like that as well, just like to like space them and hit them like hard. Yeah, I was gonna pass bot side here. And 
I'm gonna look to take the crap. I believe he didn't take the crap yet, so I'm gonna move the right now. And the mark should spawn very soon. This is the thing about Kindred. The moment the mark disappears, the next mark spawns in 45 seconds. Okay, joke. It was taken, so that makes sense. We died. Um, and in this case, I can't really help my bot lane. They're just lurky doomed. Um, this is something I call like a losing state, losing lane state. When I say losing lane state, usually I don't look for ganks because I know enemy drone might be around. So my job is just to cover dives and wait till they have base. And after the base, I play the game. Don't look for ganks when your laners are that low, okay? Very important. I'm just gonna stand around like a little bit. Okay, not bad. Oh my god. You are not boosted. Okay, here's the key thing, okay? I have a lot of gold, I'm low HP. This has to do with tempo. If you have a lot of gold and low HP and your camps are far away, I mean, in this case, it might be very obvious, but you base, okay? You don't really do anything. <laughs> so, in this case, I'm, I'm always evaluating after I'm in base, what's my main condition? What do I want to play for? I still want to play for bot side, so I'm going to clear top to bot. And now I know what I'm playing for. I don't think when. It's going to take a while because I'm going to take all my camps. So... Usually that's the case when I am thinking, okay, um, if that's the case, then what can Brent do? Brent's probably gonna base, go to the top side. I'm just gonna go for the top crap here, that's all I can really take. And one thing is alright, especially if you're, like, behind. Then you need to think, okay, what are they playing for? They are playing for the Herald, that's up in 5 seconds. So I ward the Herald knowing that they're going to start it soon. Or if they don't start it, well, I know, and then I'm just going to play defensive. Yeah, in this case, I'm just going to farm. There's not too much business. And I also have to give the Herald. And you see how, like, basically, I know I'm, like, I'm losing. But I'm not going to contest where he's at. Ideally, I will just look for trades. And that is the, the plan. So mid lane slow pushing. Usually if a wave is slow pushing, it means your laners low-key need help. Um, so here I'm debating, do we win 2v2, yes or no? If yes, I can help push out. If no, I'll just leave him to dust. Because don't fuck up yourself to help laners. Like you saw Bolin was losing, I didn't fuck up myself to help him. So in this case is no win ball, right? I was just covering there, making sure he could crash the wave. So in this situation, the game has changed a bit. Like what I mean is that. It's that. It has not changed, goodbye. videos here so no business yeah um i am gonna be looking for a trade here so i mean there's a ward here sadly but i do think his voltage camps should be available my guy should really push Because here I'm looking for a trade, I'm trying to dive the Jinx. You send it here. So we got him. Okay, here's the thing. In general, remember what I said? If you're low and your camps are looking far away, base. I've gold to spend. I have um, my camps after walk like 10 seconds. And I'm not gonna get Triforce anyway. 
And the reason why I'm basing here is because let's say that I come back on the map now. And let's say Bolin's trolling or Melee's trolling, I can fight them. If I stay and do my camps and they're trolling, I can't finish them. And these things, what I'm explaining is not kindred related, but it's jungle related, which is very important to make any jungle work. So whether you play kindred or not, it's something important to understand. And even how Dove and Jinx, like, knowing that you want to trade, you need to have like these ideas as well, which is very important. But I know they're all topside and I can't really do too much there, so... Um... And top lane is probably gone here. Very likely. So knowing that, I'm just gonna farm up here. Uh, I'm thinking if I can do something here though. I'm gonna pop ghost. This is the moment where you pop ghost, cause like... Pretty balanced, you can stand in there, but he has no flesh. Sure, hella buff. Boom, out. But that that ult went through me, no. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, here's the key thing. After you got kills, so I have to think, okay, what are you playing for? Since I'm still behind and Drake's in 40 seconds, I'm thinking what they're playing for. So they're playing for the Drake. So when that's the case, I am thinking, okay, do I? Do I actually win the Drake fight? And the answer is no. I mean, I'm just gonna run out of here because there's literally no business here for me. I have no ultimate, so face checking is like Loki sus. This picture setting. Rest in peace. Yeah, I'm gonna base here. I have a lot of gold. So, like I said, they're playing for Drake. Can I contest it? Answer is no. So, usually you want to be looking for a trade, which is very important. Uh, I will buy this item here and I will buy Super at this point. So yeah, as you can see, they're on Drake, I'm obviously giving it, I can't contest, and they're definitely playing for bot tower next. Uh, bot tower is not going to completely fall, so you always have to make a game plan, what do you want to do? I have Twisted Fate, after 6, their bot lane has no summoners I think, so can we kill their bot lane? We probably can. Of course here I have to cover mid lane, because my TF main side lane, right, so... Something to consider always. So now I'm just gonna clear my camps. And as you can see, like I try to always keep farming. Unless I feel like there's something free. Which is very, very, very key, okay? So I clear the wards here. Okay, so my TF is basing and he is not on the map. And Yasu is on the map basically, right? So that means that he could rotate mid lane. I want to defend this tower quite badly. So I'm obviously gonna defend it. I mean, sadly, there, I should have pinged my team to play a bit safe. Because I was not. You know, I was kind of far away. Yeah, I saw Brand move towards the bot side. I'm not sure about the shanky team. Let's put you down. We got him. Okay, instantly, instantly, instantly. What's next? What's next? Herald 40 seconds. If he base instantly, maybe we can fight it. But I don't have ultimate. So the question is, do I want to fight it? Probably not. And we, why is this important to think about? And also, you see, Brent just respawned and I still need to base. Which means he got a turn because we took a lot here. So 
So, what we're gonna do is play bot side. I'm gonna right trade, play bot. So, knowing that I have no camps, I'm right clicking towards the bot side. The smart thing here is to do is this is pretty big brain. It's not big brain, but like Jinx is temple, right? So, Janna combo. My Zai should catch wave. We go three man bot, use this wave, knowing they're gonna go Herald. That's what you have to think about. And usually, people don't think about defending in the CLO. So, usually, you can get away with murder. Like. So I expect their entire family to be here. On top side, I mean, not both side. So you see, this is like what you want to be doing. Like now we can even go for next one while they're doing the herald. So we get two towers here. So while they're on the herald, we legit get two towers. And this tower is like seven hundred gold. And now, the key thing is that we have tempo here. We have tempo to like ignore bot lane and go to top side right now. Uh, I do think I go with it. So of course since I want to. Okay, but this is the thing. We can play Drake. Oh, maybe I do have to defend this guy. I think we fight this. Okay, we're not. That's okay, like, I'm gonna write play D. So, how do you play for Drake right now? Um, TF, okay, it's like one minute before objective, right? General rules that you wanna push top lane out before playing for side lane. So, he, I, I mean, if the base, he could've, like, taken the wave. But in this case, um, okay, he's going for the wave right now. Okay, people are low-key trolling, like, um, lane assignment. So I'll just go right, go Aram. Let me check with the Krabby here. I think we could have opened this guy. Slowly, slowly, but steady. That is not slowly, that's fucking fast. Okay, my team was sadly trolling there, but... But so, that's like normal, so right? People will troll, so... But that's okay. Like, keep thinking what's next. Like, as you can see, I keep thinking what's next. Okay, we just died. Are we playing for Baron? Yes, we are. What does it mean? Shen should go bot side. Um, can we defend bot lane? Shen can probably TP there. That's like a lot of gold. But I do not want to give to him, but, you know. Okay, I'm gonna go stop the camps here. Question is, can I cheese this guy or dive this guy? I think it is possible. Yeah, I need to get the fuck out of here. Like, here's the thing, let's say I could trade one for one, right? I am not the biggest fan of it. The most important thing as a jungler is trying to stay alive and not trade kills for fun. Very, very, very important. Because that way, you can keep farming, they don't know where you are, you can kill side lane, you can do a lot of things. So here, of course, I'm gonna greet from item bit. Uh, we should ward the Herald, but I, or the Baron. Because they can do it extremely fast with Brent. They're not on it. You should be careful. I can clear this myself. Okay, I got my wits end. So now, okay, I'm down tempo. 
What does this mean? My laners have to be really careful. So that means that they can look for mid play, top play, bot play. I'm not available. I want to clear my bot side camps. They might go for Herald here if I go to my bot side, so I will not go there. So of course right now he's going to be careful. That is not too great though. Oi oi, that was not a great hop. We didn't kill them sadly. But that's for sure a good fight because actually I don't know where Riven came from. So he came from top side, so I didn't keep it in mind. So that's pretty bad. But oh well, since we lost Baron, that might happen. Uh, the most next important thing is always to think about. Okay, they got Baron. Look at the towers. No top tower, no bot tower. They're definitely playing for this. So usually if enemy team is Baron, what you want to do is push side lane. When they catch here, you want to try to catch them on mid lane. If they play safe, you push the wave, rotate to another lane. That should be the idea. The so Drake's 140, so we should be looking to play for top lane tower. I'm gonna ping and go top lane. Uh, I do think I can make a pick on this Riven though. I think that guy's gonna int it. And go for one more wave. No fucking shot, dude. She killed me. But anyway, like trading kills is still like very worth it. Uh, I do think I'm going with Tabis maybe this game. I think Tabis, yeah, looks pretty good. But that's, that's like really good. Like, we killed them. So, like, if you can manage to kill them and have no waves, that's that's the most important thing. You can Drake rush. This ult. Ult. My other carry is really boosted, sadly. Um, okay, I kind of just have to try to make some magic happen here. I can't have to try. Dude, this, this Zaya, like... It's not even pressing ult there. Sadly, this guy's a bit boosted, but uh, 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 uh. I mean, not gonna lie, the game is gonna be a bit hard. I think that is GG's. Um. Anyway, even though we lost, uh, I showed you guys how to come back from like behind, but there were some, some small things that we could have done better and we would have won the game, but um, but yeah, you guys do get the idea. But the yeah, team is sadly really extremely boosted. But if I let's say like one human laner, I could actually won this game and I wouldn't have to play like Giga Perfect.
but that's basically how you can smurf up. Sadly, not the W, but you guys get the idea. This.